Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about how to calculate stabilizing resistance value that is RS for motor earth fault protection. It is basically used for the residual earth fault connection for the three phase motor earth fault uh, detection. So here the connection has been shown uh, from each uh, phase CT secondary. Uh, one terminal is taken to the red, yellow and blue phase coil of the relay and the other terminal is sorted uh, to form the neutral and it is taken through the residual coil or the earth fault coil of the relay and it is taken back to the ctjb via resistance it is called the stabilizing resistance so purpose of the stabilizing resistance in order to provide stability during starting of the motor if either of the ct saturate so in this video, I will discuss how to calculate the value of the stabilizing resistance RS and also whether the VDR that is the voltage dependent register or matrices is required in parallel with the resistance and earth fault coil or not. So in order to know that, please go through the video. So in order to calculate the stabilizing resistance, which is connected in series with the relay, we have to first calculate the stabilizing voltage that is us which is given by the formula us is equal to i start divided by n into rct plus rm where i start is the starting current in terms of the primary value and n is the ct ratio and rct is the ct internal resistance in ohm and rm is the resistance of the longest loop of the ct secondary circuit Again, we have to check whether the knee point voltage that is UKN is greater than two times of the stabilizing voltage or not in order to check whether the CT requirement is fulfillment or not. Since the value of the stabilizing voltage is known that is US, we can calculate the value of the stabilizing resistance and that is RS divided by US by IS that is the relay setting current is is the start current of the earth fault protection okay so us is equal to i start into rct plus rn uh, divided by n and rs is equal to i start into rct plus rn divided by is into in this is the formula for calculation of the stabilizing resistance so in order to calculate whether the metrosil is required metrosil or voltage dependent resistance is required or not so we have to first calculate the value of the peak voltage which is developed under fault condition so the peak voltage which is developed under fault condition is given by the formula u peak is equal to 2 root over of 2 into ukn into uf minus ukn for ukn is the ct knee point voltage and uf is the voltage which is developed under fault condition in the ct secondary circuit so it is given by the formula is equal to ef is equal to i max divided by n n is the ct ratio into rs plus rct plus rm plus rr rs is the stabilizing resistance rct is the ct internal secondary resistance rm is the the loop resistance which is connected to the relay from the ct secondary circuit nara is the relay burden in terms of ohm so more the value of the stabilizing resistance more will be the voltage and i max is the maximum earth fault current so if the peak value voltage which is developed under fault condition is greater than 3 kb then a matricial is required which is connected in parallel combination of the resistance and the relay coil so in order to protect the insulation of the relay under voltage spike which is occurred under internal fault condition now let us uh, discuss uh, how to calculate the value of the stabilizing resistance and whether the matricial or voltage dependent resistance is required by one example so we know the motor data for three phase motor that is the rated power the nominal power p n m is given as 2800 kilowatt and the rated voltage u nominal is given as 3300 volt or 3.3 kb and rated current or nominal current that is i n m is equal to 549 ampere the ct specification which is connected uh, for the relay connection has been uh, shown or has been mentioned as 
CT ratio is 600 by 5. That is the CT primary is 600 ampere and secondary is 5 ampere. And class is 5P10 and rated burden as mentioned as 15 BA. CT internal resistance that is RCT is equal to 0.28 ohm and knee point voltage that is UTN is equal to 34 volt. And I am uh, value of the magnetizing current at uh, knee point voltage is given as 100 milliampere. So the power system is low impedance earth. Uh, the maximum earth fault is mentioned as uh, 400 ampere. So the required motor earth fault protection sensitivity is assumed to 20% of the full load current. The starting current of the motor is mentioned as 4.8 times of the nominal current that is 4.8 into 549 ampere. The resistance of the longest rope of the secondary circuit is 0.2 ohm and the relay input impedance is mentioned as 0.02 ohm. So in this video I will calculate how to calculate the value of the stabilizing resistance RS and also check whether voltage dependent resistor or metro seal is required or not. Now let us first calculate the stabilizing voltage which is given by the formula US is equal to I start divided by N into RCT plus RM. So here the RCT that is the CT internal resistance has been mentioned uh, from the CT data which is 0.28 ohm and value of the RM that is the resistance of the longest loop of the CT secondary circuit which is mentioned as 0.2 ohm. And here the starting current which is mentioned as 4.8 times of the nominal current. Nominal current is 549 ampere. So the stabilizing voltage US is equal to 4.8 into 549 divided by CT ratio that is 600 by 5 that is 120 into RCT. RCT is equal to 0.28 plus RM. RM is equal to 0.2 which comes as 10.54 volt is the value of the stabilizing voltage. So first we have to check whether the knee point voltage is greater than two times of the stabilizing voltage. So the stable knee point voltage is mentioned as 34 volt. So the condition for the CT requirement is fulfilled that is knee point voltage is two times greater than of two times of the stabilizing voltage. Uh, now the setting current of the relay which is given by the formula is is equal to i pi mari divided by n that is the ct ratio minus 3 into i that is the exciting current minus i u i u is the current through the voltage dependent register or the varistor or uh, metro seal okay so by neglecting uh, the value of the i u or considering that i u is equal to 0 i s is equal to comes as uh, primary current. Primary current of the motor asphalt uh, sensitivity is 20% of the nominal current. So it is 0.2 times of uh, 549. And since the CT ratio is, is equal to 120, so it comes as 0.2 into 549 divided by 120 minus 3 into IE. So since the up to the knee point voltage, uh, the CT magnetizing current is linear. So we can calculate the value of the IE at stabilizing voltage. So at knee point voltage, the value of the magnetizing current is 100 milliampere. So IE at stabilizing voltage is calculated by the formula E is equal to stabilizing voltage divided by knee point voltage into IM at knee point voltage, which comes as 31 milliampere. So the value of the IE is equal to 0 0.2 into 540. 9 divided by 120 minus 3 into 0 0.031 which comes as 822 milliampere that is the value of the setting current. Now since the value of the stabilizing voltage and the relay setting current is known we can calculate the stabilizing voltage RS uh, the value of the stabilizing resistance RS which is equal to US by IS. So it is equal to 10.54 divided by 0 0.822 which comes as 12.82 ohm or 30 ohm stabilizing resistance can be connected in series with the residual coil of the motor earth fault protection. Now the calculation of the requirement of the metro shield. So in order to do that first we have to calculate the 
voltage which is developed under maximum earth fault condition that is given by uf is equal to i max divided by ct ratio into rs plus rct plus rn plus rr so here the maximum earth fault uh, current has been mentioned that is 400 ampere and ct ratio is 120 so uf is equal to 400 divided by 120 into rs that is the stabilizing resistance that is 13 ohm rct is equal to 0.28 and rm is equal to 0.2 and rr is the 0 0.02 so uf comes as 45 volt so it is much much uh, lower than that of the knee point voltage so here the equation which is given by the peak voltage developed for the internal fault condition comes as negative and that is why uh, here the calculation for the metro shield does not uh, stand and uh, metro shield is not required for in this case so friends if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future thank you for watching this video